Hello YouTube, this is Jan van A of Language Boost and today I'm here with Lydia Machova. Hello Lydia. Hi Jan. Do I pronounce your name correctly? Almost. I mean, this, that's the English-speaking world form uh, of my name. It's I see. Makhova, so. I guess that's what the people are going to understand here on YouTube. So Lydia um, runs language mentoring and what she does is she gives seminars, um, especially in Slovakia, and she helps people to learn languages. Um, so Lydia, I'm very glad to have you here on YouTube today. We met last year at the, at the Polylog Conference in Berlin. Um, and you do, I've seen a lot of interesting stuff from you uh, recently on YouTube. So let's Thank talk, uh, not only on YouTube, by the way, also on Facebook and other social media. So let's talk a little yeah. bit about what you do um, exactly. You've also been learning Russian for a year, so maybe we can discuss learning Russian as well later. Of course, that's my, that's my current language mission, so Your it's something current. I'm very, very we, passionate about. We're on the same mission. Yeah, exactly. But I think it's a little bit easier for me because I'm a Slavic person yeah. by origin. So, you're so the, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> it's you're cheating with Germanic Germanic languages, exactly. right? Exactly. It's always good to cheat on language learning if uh, if you if you can. I think Lydia, could you tell us what you what you what what it is exactly what you do? Uh, you mean in general with language mentoring? In right? general, yeah, exactly. In general with uh, language mentoring. Mm -hmm. Well, I, um, I, I have this philosophy uh, which basically means that no one can teach you a language. I've mm. been trying for, for ten, 10 years and didn't work. Mm. So uh, I'm trying to help people learn languages instead and that's the main idea of language mentoring. So I'm not teaching anyone a language but giving them the know and mm -hmm. the motivation, uh, the tricks of the trade to continue and uh, learn a language by themselves. I see. And you do that by giving seminars? Um Mainly yes. in, in Bratislava or around Slovakia? Yeah, I, I've, I've done a few also in other places in Slovakia. I'm planning to go to the Czech Republic as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm planning a few online courses. I've done an online course already also for basically uh, anyone, any English teachers. So I'm playing around with these ideas and mm -hmm. I'll see where it goes. Yeah, I think it's very interesting to see what you do because I remember when we met last, uh, last year, I think you were just starting back then. Now recently, like I see all these um, pictures of you give, giving presentations in front of lots of people um, and you also gave a TED talk last, a few weeks ago, I guess. Yes. How, how was that? You, what, what, what did you talk about and um, yeah, how was it to give a TED talk about I, language learning in front of so many people? It was, it was a TEDx talk. A oh, TEDx to, talk, okay. Yes, exactly. That's, that's a little difference, but still, it's, uh, it's, it's a great conference. And, uh, well, I always talk about languages, basically. I, I'm trying to spread this philosophy and um, I'm trying to change the attitude of people to language learning because it seems to me that people want to be fed the language, mm -hmm. spoon-fed. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, they, when they find out after years of going to language schools that it doesn't work, mm -hmm. uh, then they listen to someone like me who tells them, hey guys, um, I've been living in Slovakia all my life, I've never never traveled while learning languages and mm. I've learned seven languages which I can use fluently today. Yeah. Uh, there is another way and you can do it too. Mm -hmm. That's when people listen. So I suppose that's why uh, there has been such a great interest in, in my philosophy. Mm -hmm. I know that you used to work as an interpreter. Do you still do interpreting jobs? Not so much actually because uh, this work is so much more interesting. Yeah. And recording because I can I can actually produce some some of my own ideas and not yeah. just repeat someone else's ideas. Mm -hmm. So I have to say I found my passion in this. Yeah. But of course, if, if there is an interesting speaker I would like to interpret, then I'm I'm open to do that because I love that job as well. Yeah, cool. I saw pictures of you with uh, celebrities like Tony Robbins and Brian Tracy. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about interpreting or doing interpretation jobs for for these kind of uh, seminars? How how was that? How did you how did you get a job? <laughs> well, um, you get there because you do it professionally and you have contacts and you've been doing it for years, so uh, people know that they can rely on you. And um, and well, then interpreting someone like Tony Robbins was quite a challenge because his uh, speech rate is incredible, yeah, exactly. and he was trying to slow it down for us, but that was still not not ideal. Uh, but it was really interesting. I mean, that's the best combination if you interpret someone and you're so interested in what they have to say mm -hmm. that you don't even take it as work. It's like, oh my God, I can get to this seminar for exactly. free. You would even, you would even do it for free, I guess, for, for yes, the picture, of course, and for the experience. I would, and 
but don't tell my clients. Yeah. No, I, I won't. It's just this video is going to be on YouTube, but just don't okay. don't tell okay. anyone. <laughs> the other thing is, it's very rewarding because uh, the the VIP tickets in there cost about ten thousand euros or something like that. Oh, really? And I I got an even better view of the speaker than they did. And so you got paid for it. And uh, the meet in Greece. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great. So it's it's really ideal. It's it's a good it's a good job, but. I mean, don't imagine that interpreters always work like that. Like, mm. I spend most of the time uh, during the six years I worked as an interpreter interpreting conferences on topics I, I'm not interested in at all. And I have mm. to spend days learning about it. So mm. it's it's not all so positive. Very cool. Well, sounds very interesting anyways. Um, I'm an, an, at the moment, I'm in Ukraine here and I'm focusing on improving my Russian. You started learning Russian one year ago and I saw this video on YouTube a few days, days ago in which you gave this presentation uh, in Russian pretty well. How was it for you to learn Russian? Because you are a, your native language is Slovak. Um, yes. how, how was it? Was it, was it difficult oh. for you? Or? Well, not only is uh, Slovak my native tongue, but also uh, Czech is my my other mother oh, tongue. Oh, kind really? Of passive tongue. Yes, it's it's uh, Slovaks and Czechs always understand each other perfectly. Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just, but it's uh, it's very similar. It's almost like two dialects of a language. Hmm. So I, I often interpret from Czech into English, for example, and no one has ever asked me if I understand. Ah, it's it's I taken see. for granted. So that's my second uh, Slavic language, and then I speak Polish pretty fluently. Yeah. So that is kind of a great help to understand Russian passively, but on the other hand, it's a great problem because you have so many false friends and now you need to remember what it means in Polish and Russian and in Slovak and it kind of starts to mix all, all up, so that's mm -hmm. that's really difficult. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's much easier for me to understand Russian than mm -hmm. it is, can possibly be for you yeah. as a non slavic person, mm -hmm. but to speak correctly, to make the endings right, uh, you still need to put a lot of effort into it. Yeah. Especially because you kind of want to say it in Polish or mm -hmm. in Czech, which are my uh, other close Slavic languages, but mm. it's still different in mm. Russian. Do, do you have any suggestions for or tips or recommendations for people that are learning Russian? Yeah, I have a great website which I started with. I don't know if you've heard about it. Mm. It's probably yes. It's called RussianPodcast.eu. Mm -hmm. uh, Tatiana Klimova is uh, makes really amazing podcasts where she speaks in very very simple Russian mm -hmm. and she explains the terms etc. It's all in Russian, but if you're on A1 A2 level, I think people are uh, able to understand that okay. uh, quite easily. Well, that sounds Sorry. like something I, I, I it's going to be very useful for me. So I'm going to check it out Definitely. after uh, after the video recording. I will put the link below um, as well for the people that are watching this video, so sure. they can go and, and then check it out. Yeah. What I did is I, I work with those podcasts very very um, intensively because for the first episodes she also provides the transcript, mm. uh, which I put into Anki, and I was I, I made sure that I can say those sentences actively. So mm. I translated them into Slovak and said them out loud uh, from Slovak into, into Russian. And that helped a lot because okay. you learn phrases. Okay, it sounds, sounds, uh, sounds very good. I'm going to try that out. Um, sure. how, can we, how can we find you if you want to get to know more about you? And uh, what are your plans for, the, for, for this year, for the rest of this yeah. year? Uh, well, people can find me at uh, languagementoring.com, mm -hmm. also on Facebook as Language Mentoring. And my plans uh, for this year are to uh, work with Slovaks here in Slovakia, because that's what I concentrate on right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start uh, with uh, an online course where I will help uh, people who are interested, general public, uh, in learning and improving one of their languages. So mm -hmm. it's a project I'm really excited about. Okay, well, if you are interested or if you want to get to know more about what Lydia exactly does, then go to languagementoring.com and everything is there. So Lydia, thank you very much for this interview and I'm looking forward to see you again in Greece in yeah. well, the end of the month already. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you very much for the, for the talk. No problem. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.